So uh, th there's an interesting um, proverb that goes something like this, that if you are to go out into the world, surely there will be thorns and stones that will hurt your feet. Now you've got two options. You can cover the world in leather and walk on it, or you can put on a pair of shoes. What's easier to do? We spend too much time in our lives changing others and worrying about what others are doing and what others have or don't have. It's about the self. It, it, you, 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 and, and I think that's what nature, being closer to nature does to you, is that it starts to fix your perception of things, and then you start celebrating diversity and, and, and the uniqueness and things, as in nature it does. Every leaf on a tree that's the Fibonacci law playing out. Huh? Is, have you ever seen the canopy that comes across, uh, on top of forests? You know why that canopy is there? Because leaves are not blocking the sunshine of other leaves. If you notice the way they, they open out, they all get sunshine. So there's no cannibalism going on within a plant. A plant will not block its own leaves' sun, right? And that's, if we're closer to nature as people, we wouldn't do that. I wouldn't block what belongs to, I'd give way. Because I'd get what I am getting and, I, and I'd let, what we want to hoard everybody's share. Unnatural. So, so I guess, I, I mean, I could go on and on and on my whole life's about studying a process of nature, but, but I, I mean, you, you can, I think, in everyday um, uh, terms, look for these little clues from nature and see how they're playing out.